um, yeah, Jamie told me. He was cool, like, I feel like some coaches would have just wanted me to get in there and like, not really consider that I might be a bit tired, but he was very, and Shelly obviously were very sort of, take your time if you, if you needed, but I just wanted to get stuck in straight away and get on the field and earn the girls' respect kind of thing. Simone Charlie was the target there, and Grace Fisk got to the ball. The captain of England's under-19 national team able to clear it. Grace Fisk didn't spend her time like many other college students this summer. She was named captain of England's under-19 national team and led her squad through the prestigious UEFA European Championship tournament. So I was part of the U19 Euros. Um, I represented England, and that was in August last year. Year, this year, this year, 2017. It was in Northern Ireland and we came third in our group so we didn't do so good but we got to the World Cup playoff um, and we beat Scotland in the playoff so that gave us a qualification for the World Cup which is next year. The Euros were so cool like playing different countries like it's a great experience being so close around all the other teams. The Euros were really good for me as a player uh, playing different teams, playing different countries, loads of different styles of play so it develops me like tactically as a player um, and then building up, even just building up to the, the Euros. Obviously I'm training every day, getting fitter, getting technically better. So just prepping for the Euros, uh, I think, developed me as a player loads. Another cross here, opportunity knocked away by Grace Fisk. Grace wasn't able to attend preseason camp and missed the Gamecocks' first three games due to her involvement in the Euros. However, coaches Shelley and Jamie Smith did not hesitate to get her in the starting lineup shortly after her arrival. You know, we lost key seniors last year. Um, there were some big uh, spots to fill in our defense to come in and have a freshman start. And then Grace side by side as a new player, but already having, again, the collegiate experience and the international experience in the combination. Um, she's automatically a leader in your back four, and uh, she easily and I won the job because of that experience she brought to the table. But to uh, compete right away and to impact the team, but what we had seen in her and heard about her as a person, as a player, um, we knew that she uh, you know, would have success. Being the player that she is, Grace is frequently called into England's national team camps. Although this leaves the Gamecocks without Grace in their back line, the coaches know the importance of these opportunities and support them. When I was looking here, sort of, the coaches made that really clear that they would support me um, and if I needed to go back for camps, they wouldn't hold me back. Shelly and Jamie have been like so, so understanding of it and so have my team as well because obviously I'm missing games so it's not ideal but yeah, that, they're really nice about it and they support me and want me to do well and what's best for me so that's really nice to have behind me, yeah. You know, we look at it as the big picture of it all. I mean, we want these players to have these experiences. If you're good enough to play for your country, then you should be doing that. And we're just trying to help her become the best college player here, but also go back and be that much better for England. But uh, it's kind of take the good with the bad. You definitely miss her when she's not here, but um, we'll take whatever we can get. <laughs> Um, what a goal. I mean, really, it makes you want to put her up front sometimes. Uh, you know, she, her composure she shows in the back line, she showed it in front of goal. And you need to have composure in those moments to, uh, to place a ball around a goalkeeper in traffic. It, it, it just showed how special she is and um, to put her in that moment. So obviously she's going to be up on set pieces as much as we can. Uh, she can get near goal, that's great, but uh, obviously she's valuable in the back, but she shows kind of the, the, um, the versatility she has and the ability, the skills um, necessary to, to be a complete player. Yeah, it was really nice to level the game up, but yeah, as a centre back, we don't, don't score too many, so when it happens, it's nice, and I just do my part, I guess. You watch her play on the field and there's a reason she's playing in, in the national team, in the national program for England and she's got so much composure, um, skills, co the combination of the two and then the, the pace she needs to track players, the, the toughness, the, the ball winning mentality you need as a center back and uh, 
and uh, we're excited to see her grow over the next couple of years, but uh, thrilled what she's done so far for us.